lovelies. So, um, today I was going to put out a haul video and an unboxing, um, but I made this channel for, um, a journey which is my life with chronic pain and, um, generally I put out an edited video or a fun type video when it's not really anything to say to you guys that day or I'm feeling just okay and it's not really anything to like check in about. I thought it would kind of be not authentic of me to put out a video that I'm just so excited and, and happy and wonderful and because um, that's not what's going on today. It started out great and um, kind of got away, went to one of my favorite restaurants and um, but then uh, we got back and um, my first dog ever uh, she's going through a tough time right now and um, she she's older she's she's 14 but she's a border terrier so they live pretty long um, she's just been the most wonderful dog and I have I've prayed to God and I want him to let me know when it's time for her um, and I'm starting to feel like it is um, but I don't know it's just really hard to watch um, something you love so much hurt I just want to take it all away from her but she's getting these spots um, and some people call them hot spots but what I've done research with hot spots are not what they don't look like what she has and um but if they are hot spots or if you have a dog that has hot spots maybe you can tell me a little bit more about it um but she just has these open gaping wounds and they just seep pus everywhere and by the time one heals another one opens up and literally like you can take her hair and just peel her skin up and um, she's never been the kind of dog that ever yelped or complained or cried only time I ever heard that dog yelp was when she was fighting with a um, groundhog and it bit her and that's the only time I've ever heard her um, show pain so it's really difficult to know how much pain she's in and she's an older dog and she's having trouble with like you know just the normal stuff that when dogs get older like getting up and down stairs and she just seems like she's in pain but these wounds are really really having an effect on me and I just she's I can't pet her and she's very sensitive near those spots because mom well, has to put cream on them and shampoo them so she thinks everybody's gonna try to touch them and they heal they heal they do they heal up but she just keeps getting new ones and she's just it's just really sad to see her suffering like that and if it this continues I mean we do, we will have to put her down um, we're just not the type of people that will sit around and watch an animal that we love especially um, suffer so that's kind of what I'm dealing with now because my mom just bathed her and it seems like one of her spots has gotten a lot bigger it's probably this big and you have to remember that she's 15 pounds maybe she's a small dog um, so it's a majority of her back and um, this is really tough um, I'm just being strong for her because she's always been strong for me and um, she's really cool because she was the first dog we got because I'm actually allergic to dogs and cats <laughs> um, but when I moved out of the house my parents got a dog and um, actually it was a year before I moved out but I was moving out of the house so they got a dog and um, she's just the best dog She's so smart. She has never, you know, she was house trained immediately. Um, just a really, really great dog. And she would always protect 
um, we fostered a lot of dogs and she would always protect those dogs and you know she would kind of like divert them if they were bothering our other dog bear who is blind and she's just really really special and like the thing that's most special about her is um, if we hadn't had her we probably wouldn't have fostered all the dogs that we did and we wouldn't have the dogs that we have now and um, I definitely wouldn't have Bella because I was never a dog person. I was like, I'm going to have cats and that's like, I had cats when I was a child and that's just the way it's going to be. Like, I like dogs, but I'm going to have a cat. Like, why would I want a dog? I don't like to go, I don't like to walk dogs. I don't like to like throw toys for them and, you know, so, but when we got Percy, I was just so in love and, um, I'm just most worried about my dad because it was, they were so tight. And it was really like his dog. And as soon as she started to get a little older, he kind of separated himself because I don't think he could have handled that. But it's going to be really tough. Um, we put Bear down and that was, you know, I shut myself in my room for three days and I mourned him. But um, he was 11. He was a German Shepherd. And they, they told us that he wouldn't live past two years. And he was so happy and he had such a wonderful life. And he literally was suffering for maybe three days. It was not that long. We just knew it was something that was wrong and that he needed to be put down. But with this, it's been a process and it keeps going. And I mean, you can't just put a dog down just because it has a sore, you know? So you go through this whole process of trying to figure out what it is and what medicines she needs. And is this medicine causing these? And, um, but at some point you have to just go, this is not working and this is she's just gonna suffer and we can't have her manage a good quality of life and um you know it's just reality and that's um that's something that you have to know when you get a dog like when i got bella i love her you guys know i love her with every piece of my heart um she is just the best thing in my life just kept me on this earth and um, I still know that I have the that responsibility when I got her that I'm going to have to choose at some point to put her to sleep if that's if it comes to that if she doesn't die naturally I will have to say she's suffering there's no surgery there's no medicine that's going to help her we need to put her down and that's just like something that I think that every pet owner is responsible for. I think it's cruel. I think it's awful um, when I see people letting their animals just wither away and die. Um, it really, really makes me angry. Um, it's just not how animals work. It's not what they're here on this earth for. And, um, you know, they're not people. So if they're, if they're suffering and there's not anything we can do, they can't tell us like, hey, it's this and I need this and um so that's that's what's going on today. So um I just wanted to share that. I know you guys don't really like these sad videos. I know you guys really like the upbeat ones, but um I'm gonna edit the one that I did earlier and um I'm sure that when this passes and her settles down a bit from her bath and I talk to my mom and we kind of figure out what's going on and things will be better but right this moment that's what's going on and I wanted to just be true to myself and true to um, this pain you know I'm having an okay pain day but emotionally it's it's a, it's a tough day so um, I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. Um, love your animals. Tell them you love them. Even if you don't think they know or hear or listen, I think they do. So tell them you love them and um, give all of your doggies and all of your birds and pets and kitties a kiss for me. Um, I just think they're one of God's most precious gifts to us. So. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.